Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm in Oxford in the UK. I am Pip. Um, I have been doing quite a bit of schoolwork. Uh, I am Matilda, and I've been taking lots of my lesson, doing lots of dance lessons over Zoom. And I'm Hugh Warwick, and I'm an author and an ecologist. I'm Cheng Xiangli. That is my Chinese name. Now I'm an associate professor at the School of Foreign Languages and Literature at Wuhan University. Uh, we live in Wuhan now. My name is Zhang Shen. I'm an engineer of a regional grid company. We have a small garden it means we've got the capacity to sit outside in our own space which makes life much much easier um, so I've always really felt uh, it must be very hard if you're doing this but stuck inside a flat always we really envy you to have a garden right <laughs> you know that we live in the apartment uh, you can see that now we are staying at this study this is our study and uh, uh, the, the, the apartment is spacious. We have uh, two bedrooms and a study. So we don't feel like uh, we are shut up in a small room, a small space. <laughs> and my son was a, 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 a exchange student uh, at Oxford at that time. So I had a chance to meet him at Oxford. And I find it was really uh, crowded with uh, tourists. I don't know. What is happening now? Is is there any tourists now at Oxford? Oxford is wonderfully empty. Uh, um, for my, <laughs> we're allowed to go out for a cycle ride or a walk or something for exercise each day, and I've cycled into into Oxford and just cycled through the streets, which are normally absolutely heaving with people, mm. and um, it's it's empty, uh, and it's one of the most gorgeous things. Has been the change of noise. I don't know what it's been like in Anhui, but. Uh, sorry, Wuhan. Sorry, um, uh, is is um, whether it's quieter? Yes, uh, it it was quieter uh, uh, from the beginning of the lockdown. But after after uh, people are getting back to work now, it, there is more. There are more noisy outside. You can hear uh, cars outside my window. <laughs> Except for Thursday evenings here, it's really noisy because at eight o'clock everybody goes out and they hit pans and they clap and applaud the NHS, which is our health service, and all the um, sort of essential workers that are that are still going to work, um, which you know potentially at risk and and still you know doing that wonderful job. So we applaud them. It feels really emotional when everyone's out there clapping. I've been doing some baking. Cooking, that's good. I've, I've started a sourdough um, mix, so I'm going to start making some sourdough bread and the gardening as well has been nice. And we, and we set up this dartboard and we've got very competitive between the family on that. <laughs> Just me and you. Just you. you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing whittling. Um, I've been making weaponry out of sticks. <laughs> that's good. Yes. And so what, what, what have you uh, um, changed? What have you... Uh, yeah. new, new, entertainments in Wuhan? Uh, for me, uh, I'm always a quiet person. So <laughs> I, I just say this, this, this is not much uh, change for me. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just stay indoors as I, I usually do. And uh, I, for entertainment, I just say I like, I like to uh, watch videos online, like uh, uh, some documentary. Uh, I like cooking usually. Uh, during the lockdown, uh, I can spend more time on cooking. Uh, although the ingre ingredient is limited, but if you uh, cook in different uh, different way, uh, the food is with different taste. So I follow the uh, video guide, uh, read the menu, and do some more uh, exercise.
I, we um, had to do haircuts here. So I, I cut your hair. My hair, my hair cuts. Can I cut your hair? <laughs> yeah. And then he cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go back to it with scissors afterwards, but he made me promise on camera beforehand that I wouldn't complain if he got it wrong. So I won't complain. <laughs> she, she complained. She complained an awful lot. Yeah, she did. <laughs> I just did what I was told. It just <laughs> turned out different to what I expected. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was a quite a fun experience. <laughs> yeah, you are you are really lucky to have someone to hear for you. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, you're, no, she's, I just, not, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> I I I I haven't had a haircut for for three months. So, but I like the style now. Now. <laughs> Wow, that was quick, that was short. School. That was, that was... Um, being able to hang out with my friends and go out into town. Oh, wow. Being able to go and see my parents and, and hug them. Yes, my mother lives uh, um, three or four hours away and I uh, haven't seen her for months and I, I really miss seeing her. Yeah, for me, I, I miss my son. I haven't seen, her, seen him for three months, so yeah, that is I would like. I'd like to keep doing my baking. That's good. Mm -hmm. What have you been up to? Um, more whittling. More whittling. <laughs> what have you been up to? Oh. Um, I think I've done more exercise since we've been on lockdown. Um, there's various ones like um, a neighbour runs one on Zoom for our, our local area. Um, and also getting out to the park with the family and, and um, yeah, playing cricket or football or, or basketball. So I'd like to keep up doing more exercise. I think the most important change I'd take forward is at the moment, because we've got a restriction on what we can do, it's um, um, you have to lower your expectations as to what you are going to get done in the day. And I'm going to lower my expectations and try and get less done in the future because it's nicer like that. A, si a simple, simple life. I, I like this kind of simple life without uh, uh, too much distru distractions. Uh, I can just concentrate on doing what I really like best. I, I know that I love teaching and yes, I will just, this of course, will, I will continue doing this. Uh, during the lockdown, uh, we have to wear the mask. Uh, keep the social distance, uh, which are not uh, ne never done before. Uh, after the lockdown, which uh, I think uh, they are they are good habits, so I I will keep it. Life changing, a bit more tiring than usual. I will remember lockdown as the time when every government around the world, or nearly every government around the world, said. Uh, we should listen to the scientists and we should listen to the experts and I will really really hope that the governments will then take that message on and start listening to the experts and listening to the scientists about climate change and biodiversity loss. For me I think the lockdown helped me to find my peace of mind. Uh, this is really helpful for my future career and also future life. Yeah, to take everything easy. I will thank all the people uh, fight for the virus in Wuhan. So I will use the one sentence. The Chinese are always well protected by the bravest people. <laughs>